Your birthday is the main factor in deciding when you get the shot. Tomorrow, we're dropping down 10 years, so people who are now 50 or older will be able to get the vaccine. Is it too soon or just the right timing? The suspect lost control of the U-Haul, barreling right through this fence, and then it took a beeline right to the side of this home. I want to take you up close here so that you can see the impact. That's pretty darn significant. Law enforcement is still here, and I'm going to actually take you to a process that's happening right before our very eyes. The focus is on this car, which is in the process of being towed as we speak. Deja vu coming in the form of total destruction. The homeowner here says that this is the third time that somebody has smashed into her home. Fed up, she's now looking for any answers that she can get so that she never has to relive what was a nightmarish Saturday morning. A day centered around celebrating mothers, now marked as a day of mourning. Someone shot and killed her son. Cape Coral Police confirmed one person was killed, another seriously injured. Thanks for counting on NBC2. I'm Brad Hamilton. You will be able to walk into a Publix and get your COVID-19 vaccine. The pharmacy is offering the Moderna and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, so you actually get to choose which one you want. Ashley Cruz was driving when she saw a white Toyota flipped in the middle of the road. Many people might just drive by it and pretend like they didn't see anything, but not Cruz. She decided to put on the brakes, get out of her car, and do what she does best, jump right into the action. I just kind of ran, like you're, it's just my instinct to just go. Seconds felt like minutes, minutes felt like hours. In short amounts of time, you're thinking about all kinds of different things. So you're thinking about your safety, his safety, and then what, what can we do and what how can we help him? Cape Coral Police say the man tried switching lanes on Hancock Bridge Parkway with a teenager riding in the passenger seat. Their SUV hit a van, lost control, hit the median, and then rolled and crashed into a tree. And there's not much we can do when a car is upside down and we can't get him out and we don't have access to him, but we can talk to him. We can hold his hand. We can tell him to hold on. We can tell him to keep breathing. Cruz says that the child made it out of the SUV with what looked like minor injuries, but the driver was in much worse shape. That can happen to any of us. Like the, any, at any moment, your entire life could change. Though Cruz doesn't view her actions as heroic, the Cape Coral Fire Department does, awarding her and Antonetti Bone, the other nurse involved, a community recognition coin for their extraordinary efforts. I'm one of those people that just believes like you're in the right place at the right time for the right reason. But the focus for Cruz remains with the man that she helped aid and all of his loved ones. Seeing that is, it's, it's hard, it's a lot. So my mind's been on him and his family and everybody that was kind of around and that helped. Kate PD says that the victim is in the hospital and faces life threatening injuries, but officers don't believe that drugs or alcohol were a factor in the crash on Wednesday. Reporting here in Cape Coral, Brad Hamilton, NBC2. Your birthday is the main factor in deciding when you get the shot. Tomorrow, we're dropping down 10 years, so people who are now 50 or older will be able to get the vaccine. Is it too soon or just the right timing? Today, we spoke with folks on both sides of that argument. I think it's a good thing. Some are for it. It'll feel great. You know, I'll be able to live my life like normal again. Brian Jorzak believes that the governor made the right call in lowering the eligibility age from 60 to 50. Oh, I hope so. I think, you know, by May, you know, I hopefully it'll be my turn and I'll be able to get it. For him, it feels like one step closer towards the end of having to do this. Not have to wear a mask anywhere. So that's what I'm really looking forward to is no more masks. Others are completely against the age drop. I am almost 80. My husband's 81. You know, why aren't they getting those people first? It took Jean Douglas and her husband months to get their shot. She says that others are still struggling to get vaccinated in her age group. I was kind of disturbed about it. But then there are those who see both sides, like Diane Pack. Like everyone else, I want to see everyone eventually be able to get the shot. Diane has already been vaccinated, and she can't wait for everyone to get that peace of mind that she has, but at the same time, believes that the most vulnerable should stay the top priority. I just would like to see it maybe a little easier for senior citizens. The governor says that the demand for the vaccine was not overwhelming the last time he lowered the age group. Governor DeSantis is hopeful that by May 1st, everyone will be able to get the vaccine. Reporting here in Fort Myers, Brett Hamilton. Brennan and Peter, for the majority of today, FWC and Naples police had this entire section of First Avenue North blocked off, all in an effort to try and corral a 300-pound bear. Now, folks that we talked to that actually encountered this bear said that this was a Friday night they will not be forgetting anytime soon. I thought she was kidding, but I read her message first. Jack Ryan's flight had just landed when his phone started ringing off the hook. 
They said there's a bear in your swimming pool area. For the majority of the evening, a 300 pound bear had cozied up in his backyard bushes. FWC surrounded the area armed with a bear trap full of Captain Crunch all in hopes of eventually corralling this wild animal. I mean, it's got claws and teeth, and if it's threatened, it will hurt you. But then around 745, the bear made an appearance, starting quickly across the street and vanishing into more shrubs. The whole ordeal was surprising to neighbors, but not to one expert, who thinks it probably swam to Naples from Kiwaden Island. You're going to see a lot of those animals moving because of the rain systems that are moving in. Water levels are rising up, uh, so those animals are going to be moving to higher grounds, which unfortunately is typically... Uh, where people are also going to be. With rainy season in full effect, FGCU expert Matthew Medcalf wants folks to remember to always be careful when dealing with wild animals, especially bears. And keep a safe distance away. So never approach them, uh, especially a wild animal. It's a wild animal, right? So uh, don't go up there, don't touch it, don't try to take a selfie with it, things like that. Uh, just give them space. Yeah, that was some good advice. Do not take a selfie with a bear. Uh, crews did wrap up their search around two hours ago, and as of now, we do believe that this bear is still on the loose. Uh, we didn't see that for ourselves, but crews just packed on out, and that's what we have on the latest. Oh, boy. No, no selfies, Brad, but there's something in your right hand. I hear you got something while you're out there looking for the bear. Yeah, I, I got to say, this is the highlight <laughs> of my, uh, my journalistic career so far. I, I got myself my own bear whistle uh, it's, it's just been a, it's been a huge night here i was gonna say is the whistle try it. is the whistle supposed to attract the bear to the trappers or scare it away you know it's it's so funny because i got so caught up in like receiving this whistle that i just completely forgot to ask if i should be whistling this to attract <laughs> oh, no. the bear or or get it away from me okay. so okay. i was yeah i was just caught up in the thrill okay. a bit. Just <laughs> don't eat the captain crunch brad all right <laughs> Yeah, I'll try not to. All right. <laughs> Good night, you. guys. All right, this was not the 